In tonight's For Your Health, when it comes time to make a New Year's resolution, most of us focus on our health. If it's not eating less, it <laughs> usually has to do with working out more. And so our News 10 health and fitness consultant, Dr. Mike Ormsby, is at a local gym to show us some basic moves to get in shape. Oftentimes we get questions about what exercises you can do that may help to fight the flab or to increase your metabolic rate. And over these holidays, you may want to try some things that you can do really easily and follow through in a circuit fashion to increase your calorie burn and to have better success with your weight loss goals. The very first exercise we're going to show you can be done at home or it can be done in the gym. In this case, we're going to use light dumbbells, all right, and we're going to do something called a squat press. In this case, we'll have a squat down, and at the top of the motion, stand up, we'll have a push at the top. And we can repeat that again. And this will be the beginner's move, okay? If you don't have dumbbells, you can go ahead and use uh, water bottles, canned goods, something around your house. You can do this right in your living room. For those of you who might be a little more advanced, let's try a squat press with a twist. And this time you squat up and twist to the side. This way we can engage some more core activity. And we're working glutes, quads, shoulders at the same time. This is your first exercise for the circuit. After you've finished 30 seconds of the exercise one, the squat press, let's try our next move. In this case, we're going to do a modified push-up for those of you who need a little assistance at first. We're going to lean against the bench, something higher. You can even lean against the wall and do a normal push-up motion. We're keeping a flat back, straight arms, and we're bringing ourselves down to about 90 degrees with our arm length and our elbow. If this is easy for you, we can move to the next step, which will be a floor push-up. In this case, we can start on our knees. All right, in this case, we'll show a knee push-up where you have the most of your weight resting on your knees and again, down and up for a normal push-up motion. Once you've mastered this, go ahead into a normal push-up on your toes and on your hands and you're going to go all the way down so your chest comes very close to the floor and push back up. This is exercise two. The last exercise in this circuit is what we call a burpee, formerly known as a squat thrust. This is going to be the advanced movement. As you can see, you get down, shove our legs back, and come right up into a jump. Doing this for 30 seconds will definitely tire you out. All right, if this is too difficult, we can start with regular old jumping jacks. This would be a general motion, and we can show jumping jacks here. It'd be 30 seconds long and complete it. Now, for every single one of the exercises I've shown you today, you're going to go through 30 seconds of each one before you move on to the next one. Do them in a consecutive pattern, then repeat that two more times. And before you start anything, make sure you talk to your physician to make sure you're able to participate. Well, we were not able to show you all of the exercises in this set because of time constraints, but it does give you a place to start, and Steve Caprizzo has already began. I just want you to know we've been watching very closely. Dr. Ormsby says make sure your New Year's goals are realistic. Write them down and go for consistency, not perfection. I love that. And if you have a young athlete at home, Dr. Ormsby is offering a youth sports nutrition seminar on January 18th and 19th at Skidmore College, so check into that. All right.